So this is my website and the hero section looks quite simple. I've got a big headline here, which looks okay, but I want this heading to grab viewers attention. So let's add some X factor to it using a text stroke fill animation like this. Okay, this looks really smooth and I can set it to animate just once or even play infinitely like this. It could be added to any heading on your site and you can even add it to multiple headings on the same page. I'll show you how to make this in the free version of Elementor, not Elementor Pro. And we also won't use any plugin for this. We'll paste a code that I've built and I've already added it to the description so you can easily copy that and add the effect. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to make your headings and hero section look super cool like this. Don't worry, it's really easy. I'll be right here to guide you through each step so you can follow along without any hassle. Okay, so I'll use this heading to add the animation. To do that, we need to add some code to our site. To do that, I'll go to this tab where I've opened this WP code window. You can get WP code from the WordPress plugins repository and all you need to do is install and activate it. Once that's done, come to this add snippet page and click on this add a custom snippet button. I'll select the CSS snippet option and name it text stroke fill animation like this. Now copy the code in that description below and paste it here. After that, make sure to activate and save the snippet like this. Now that the snippet is live, just copy the class name animated-header from the code. This is important because we'll use it to apply the animation to our heading. Head over to the page we created earlier with the heading and click on it like this. In the Elemental Editor, navigate to the Advanced tab and in the CSS Classes section, paste the animated-header class. To see the animation in action, click Publish and refresh the front end of your site. Your animation should now be active. As you can see, it doesn't stop when it's completely filled, so let's fix that. But before we get into it, let's talk about something important. Adding animations like this in Elementor is really cool, but all that extra code can eventually slow down your site. And let's be honest, no one wants their site to lag or feel choppy, right? It's frustrating for visitors and can even actually make them leave. So here's a little tip. My team actually built this free tool called Airlift. You just drop in your URL and it minimizes the CSS scripts and lazy loads them only when the animation is supposed to play. For example, the code will only be loaded when the animation comes into view here. This makes your page load faster and everything runs way smoother, no matter what device someone's on. Trust me, you'll notice the difference. Try it out and let me know what you think. So let's return back to the code and scroll down to this section. Here you can adjust the stroke animation by modifying the background position for the start and the end. The starting point is the 0% line and the ending is the 100% line. So I'll just change the ending position and set the position from 0% to 100%. This means the effect will happen across the entire text field and you can control exactly where the stroke stops. Let's save the code and go back to our site. I'll refresh the page and as you can see, it works perfectly. Okay, let's come back to our code and you can change the stroke and text colors from here or even adjust the duration of the animation to match your design preferences. I'll also show you how you can set the animation to run infinitely in a loop. To do that, replace the forwards property in the code with the infinite keyword. This will ensure that the animation repeats without stopping. To make the loop effect smooth, adjust the final keyframe from here so that the background position resets from 100% to 0%. This will create a seamless continuous stroke fill effect that runs infinitely. Let's go back to our site, refresh the page, and yeah, it's working. Let's also try it on different headings. Just go back to the Elementor editor, scroll down to this heading, and add the same CSS class we used earlier to this heading. Let's update the page and preview it. As you can see, the fill animation even works on multiple headings on the same page. Awesome. Comment below if you have any questions and I will help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your site speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I will see you there.